Hey everybody, it's Jess. And new couch, you say? New paint? Um, now I am in the hospital. And, um, really it was my choice to come in the hospital. I knew that I was going to need IV antibiotics, but, um, my doctor wanted to see me, but he could only get me in the afternoon because he was actually doing rounds in the hospital yesterday in the morning. So by the time I saw him, it was going to be too late to get set up to um, go home on antibiotics yesterday. And so I might have been able to start like very soonest this afternoon more probably more like later tonight so um i chose to come in and really it's it's fine um i you know don't have to worry about feeding myself here so i thought somebody was gonna come in um somebody brings me my food um and you know whatever so and somebody else has to deal with my meds too and get it all set up and going for me so it gives me a chance to just kind of vegetate um i slept like crap last night though so definitely gonna try and catch a nap sometime today um my mom is on her way um, I told her she didn't need to come, but if she wanted to, it was fine. Um, but, um, I guess she, she decided she wanted to. Um, and this is actually the first time I'm staying in this hospital. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, you probably know that my CF doctor is in Tacoma, Washington, which is about 70 miles away from my house. And so the last time I was in the hospital, I just went to the closer one in Seattle because um, it was closer and I was in a lot of pain. Um, but yesterday, since I was already down here seeing my doctor, it was just, you know, and he, he could admit me directly from his office and I just had to wait a little while for a room, but that gave me a chance to go and get some lunch and whatever, so it was fine. And um, actually this room is so much nicer than the hospital rooms in Seattle. Um, the respiratory therapist last night told me that this room actually got redone only about a year ago, maybe less, and um, it's really nice. And so I'll kind of do like a quick room tour which I can basically more or less do <coughs> <coughs> while sitting on this couch. Um, but, um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, show you where I'm at. Okay, so first I just want to show you, like, this is my view. It's really rainy today, so there's waters drops on the window but yeah this is my view how pretty is that this is like a huge park that obviously is right next to the hospital and um sometimes I actually take Cosmo to um run around playing this park a little bit before my doctor's appointments um but I don't know if you can see that puddle there under that little tree earlier there were some ducks squishing and splashing in there so that was pretty cute um so yeah i mean honestly can't ask for a much better view and if it wasn't cloudy you would be able to see the cascade mountains straight out that way and mount rainier is about right over there but he's all tucked away for the day so this is my couch that's in my room it pulls out into a bed, I do believe. Um, I am hooked up to my IV right now. Um, and got some 
University of Washington women's volleyball on the TV. I was a volleyball player and have gone to UW volleyball games, so I was excited to see that on the TV. We are winning um, the match so far. So here's my room, my chair, my bed. This room is enormous. Um, I'm pretty sure this used to be like a two patient room once upon a time, which would account for why it's so big. Um, but it was then converted to a single patient room at some point. And um, so that is the bathroom in there, which in my experience, like is the biggest hospital bathroom I have ever seen. And it has a sink inside of the bathroom, which at the Seattle hospital, they were outside. So I also have a sink over there, which is mostly just like for people coming in to like wash hands and things like that. But yeah. Um, and there's all my stuff. I came prepared to stay for as many as seven days. It shouldn't be that long though. And another thing I really like is I actually have blackout shades in the hospital, which is awesome because this is west out here. So when it is sunny and the sun starts to come up, it would blast right into this room if it wasn't for the blackout shades. Yeah, that's about it for now. I'm gonna try and take a shower. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know where I left off because the doctor came in. Um, and then respiratory therapy, and then nurse, and then a bunch of people. Um, that's just what happens when you're in a hospital. Anywho, um, so yeah, that is about it for now i will keep you guys updated on how i'm feeling and um yeah um i'll see you guys later bye